So let's finally lay this matter to rest. It may end in a rest. And steal the samurai. Of of D Vasquez. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, October twentieth. That's the day before my wedding anniversary. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Let's have the wedding right. at the courthouse. <laughs> But, but I, I mean, well, that, that's, you know, not exactly unheard of. <laughs> that joke works, but also doesn't. <laughs> good start, good start. You see, it's funny, because... <laughs> the court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Right, that was a big thing. Today, I will call on people present in, in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Again, I must reiterate. <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> I'll ignore that. <laughs> no one heard anything. <laughs> From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> God is silent. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> mm. Very well. So when, when you say e e e e "Amen," is that like what um a, a gay Canadian guy says? Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> For context, we just watched some uh, Dylan Hollis videos. He is a very funny and very gay um baker on TikTok slash YouTube. Shout out to him, he does phenomenal shout content. Shout out to him, he is very funny, very entertaining. And and actually inspires me to want to bake some of the stuff he puts out. Hmm, but honestly, same. And I'm not even, like, I am by no means a cook. Same. Mm -hmm. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. He's living up to half his namesake. <laughs> exactly. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Oh, this ought to be good. Strong. Mm hmm. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. And she also did it. That Case day. closed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a fun shift. <laughs> Will the witness state her name and occupation? You literally just did. <laughs> Also, is she, why is she allowed to smoke in here? I was about to say, she's... Hmm. Well, actually, I feel like if anyone were to call her out for that, she would uh, probably shut them up. P -p Probably, but, but again, in court? <laughs> I think you failed to <laughs> underestimate. <laughs> I think you failed to understand. And I will, call, I will call my witness to the stand. Dude, put the needle down. <laughs> Dude, Vasquez. I'm a producer for Global Studios. Les deux. <laughs> Studio deux. <laughs> On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer for Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? Me? <laughs> so why are huh? we talking about it? I dislike needless pantheon. Then you're in the wrong game, kid. <laughs> <laughs> If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> oh, trust me, I'm gonna pontificate tonight. <clears throat> what? <laughs> very, very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Oh, I'm getting all the. Do you really tonight. are? My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my eye above my hair? <laughs> it's, it's the wrong layer! Okay. Nick! I know she did it! Make her pay! Right! If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. 
Why did you have to put it that way? My God. <laughs> oh, well, I, mean, I, I mean, we know why he put it that way, but still. Uh, yes. I entered the trailer um a little before noon. I thought that was it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> it was actually one! <laughs> it was actually 12.01. <laughs> get fu- The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. Phil. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate the bone steak on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hamel's body later, when we all went to Studio One. And that is all. Uh, press her on everything, cause... <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> Yeah, there wasn't yeah. anything super obvious in that one. There really wasn't. I have a question about one part of your testimony. Hey, that's my job! <laughs> you were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. Did Sal carry her? Oh. <laughs> the van. G g you know, we uh, we even saw the van in one of her little flashbacks there, so that really should have been my first thought, rather than <laughs> Carrie. There was a van at Studio 2. I could have sworn all of you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you not see it right now? <laughs> Is the van in the room with us, Miss Vasquez? <laughs> Ms. Vasquez, I would like to... <laughs> Thank you for your time. I would like to call my next witness, the van. <laughs> the van. <laughs> I had him take me in that. Yeah, I'll bet you did. <clears throat> Don't take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might be risky to walk. What was that monkey's head toppling over? <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like, like, like to present Mother Van <laughs> I see You actually see <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright, your cross examination. Alright. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it! I'm excited, probably, but also nervous. That probably peaked, I'm sorry. <laughs> it did, but you're fine. Okay, press, 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 press. <laughs> also, let me just see what exactly it says about the van. Manella used this van to drive us to the one. Oh, okay, so exactly what she said. Fancy that. Okay. So, enter a little before noon. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employee area. Yes. <laughs> no. Hmm. Are you always this... terse? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you surprised? Oh, I got him with the oh dear. <laughs> Gimmage 12 sharp. <clears throat> Did no one leave during the meeting? We already know that this is technically false, right? No one. Well, I, I don't know about, you know... Uh, leaving the trailer, because they had the stake outside the trailer, but did anyone leave the lot? Is this, this the question? The actual studio? That, that, that's the better question. Yeah. C come on, l let's talk a bit more about that. <laughs> really? The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Why not? Stop interrupting the testimony. D d do you, have you seen what I've been doing this entire game, dude? It's kind of what I do. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Ooh! You just got got, dude. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> I knew that face was coming. <laughs> so you told me to stop interrupting the testimony, so I'm gonna keep on interrupting the testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards. <laughs> and what exactly was that? I feel gotten. That's super helpful. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. 
Maybe you could try remembering? <laughs> no. The meeting ended at 4 o'clock, and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. Alright, I was fatigued, so that's how take me. And I would like to be in between those times, <clears throat> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on! You had Sal take you? What is that? She literally just no, explained no, it, bro. No, like, no, really? No, 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 hold on. <laughs> it means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the studio to Van. Oh, uh, oh, right. Dear God. Well, that, that was very illuminating. Thank you, Nick. 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. The music has been going this whole time. I can slam my hands on my desk too. Fuck your ears. <laughs> and what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. <laughs> I'll do what I want. <coughs> Bitch. <laughs> Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. And so does your terseness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Force of habit. Muscle memory. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. So, not your teeth on stakes, which, you know, can very much be proven, but I don't care. Do you have someone who can verify this besides myself? Sal. Yeah. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak... Well, Nick? Find anything? Did I? This van! <laughs> the van, yeah. See, that well, was found in the employee area. Um... I got nothing. At least I don't think. I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I, th I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said uh, somewhere. I hope so. <clears throat> ah, shit, that was it. Fuck. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, dude. We, go, oh, we, gotta start, e. we gotta start presenting stuff. We really do. Something to do with this? Block the path to see the crime between 2004? Yeah. That mm -hmm. ain't it. No, that ain't it, Chief. Um, and then the van. Oh, frig, dude. So it's gotta Objection. be. Drugs! <laughs> Wait, maybe? Wait, the drugs? No, 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 no. Go, uh, go back one. This one? Yeah. And then the monkey head, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Mm, that, that's the only thing coming to my mind. Uh... Mm. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do this and hope something good happens. The music didn't stop. I don't like that. Your Honor, that statement contradicts the other evidence. No, it doesn't. Wait, well, well, hold on. Lexus saying wait, something. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, hold on. What is it, baby? Yeah, but that was in the employee area, not studio two. I, I, I was just gonna do a, like the longest shot in history. Maybe because she said she was fatigued, and I was thinking maybe that was from this steak that had traces of the sleeping pills, and that's why she was fatigued going to wherever it was. And, that, maybe, that, and maybe that's why she didn't finish it. Like that, it, it, that's why she didn't eat the steak. But, again, the biggest, like, the, the elephant in the room, this this whole testimony took place in Studio 2, found in the employee area. I'm going to go ahead and do this and hope for the best. Yeah, baby! Both of you, thank you. Oh! <laughs> ha! As I thought. Mm -hmm. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. 
I knew what I was doing the whole time. Totally. <clears throat> what, what's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's... a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Rice, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? But look at it, it's not shaped like the letter T. <laughs> exactly my point. Remember if you will. Ms. Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. A The plates were bare. Ooh, she oh. angie. <laughs> that was an angie face. <laughs> yeah. Ms. Vasquez. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I ate the bone. <laughs> I think I know how you ate the bone. <laughs> of course, that's one of the fucking answers. You ate a bone. <laughs> you ate a you ate a boneless steak with some boneless pizza and two liter coke. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You're a fake. Now go to the lake. <laughs> <laughs> this is an accusation I'd like to make. <laughs> you took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. Ooh. Mm. That is, yeah, that's a very convenient placement for an incinerator, too, so yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix just gave us some evidence for us, potentially. That was pretty all right. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I see. <laughs> then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? C -c Committing a murder, dude. <laughs> Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Meeting the Steel Samurai, picking on Salmonella. I mean, both of those are equally uh, likely. I mean, yeah. Uh-huh. Um... Sure. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order! <laughs> Are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai, or whoever was wearing the costume at the point. And then right. you did it, in the back of the van. <laughs> <laughs> he took you in the back of the van. <laughs> you killed him, with your own hands. You ain't saying no. <laughs> Mr. Wright! Mr. Squidward! Must on the box! Isn't that a little presumptuous? Ow. <laughs> what kind of stunts are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. I'm glad you think so. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Dude, you are seriously nailing that French accent. Keep it up. Thank you. Yeah. Very well. <laughs> Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Nah, I'm interested. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick! Where is this going? Let's see... What was that murder weapon? Oh, yes. The Samurai Spear. Although I don't even believe that, frankly. Yes? Question mark? I am, as you can see, a woman of a petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? <clears throat> you couldn't. My theory is that he wasn't killed with the spear, but it was made to look like he was killed with the spear, and since the muscle suit that he, um... No, he was wearing the muscle suit, right, not the, not the Steel Samurai costume, right. right, he, right. he was changed out of the Steel Samurai costume post-mortem, put into his muscle suit for the evil magistrate, and then the steel the, the um, Samurai spear was impaled on it to make it look like the murder weapon, and because of the durability of the muscle suit, and also Defesquez's petite stature, as she says, that's how the samurai spear snapped in half. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going with, and that's also why I'm going with this. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. <laughs> Meaning... Meaning I got you now, you fucking moron bitch. The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? Qua? <laughs> Qua? What is the meaning of this? Well... Well, <laughs> Webster's Dictionary clearly <laughs> defines. The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. The picture of the fence! Wait, man, that was years ago, wasn't it? Wait, what? The, the, uh, uh, the thing that came to mind was the picture of the dude impaled on the fence. But that's from f that's five years old. It's five years, yeah, so it wouldn't be that. So... Uh, do I use the Samurai Spear itself as evidence? Hopefully, you know, Phoenix will do the rest for us, saying, Oh, well, well there's a break in it, yada yada yada. Hopefully. Uh, he said take that, so that's, that's a good sign, right? I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But, but that is the murder weapon. B -b 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 Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run through. Oh right, it actually broke during that, so that kind of ruins my theory. But whatever. Oh shit. Sure. Well, uh. Mm. <laughs> but but someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. She did. Okay, cool. <laughs> now tell oh, me. Yeah, huh? How is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? That makes a lot more sense than what I was saying. <laughs> I, 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 I just kind of had my time frames mixed up a little bit. Order! Order! <laughs> Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? I don't know. This ask, van. ask the van! <laughs> <laughs> Think about what you're... Silence! I kill you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one testifying here, and I will be held. The number of times he's made that face in this trial day alone. With that sound. <laughs> yeah. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I'm a defense attorney now. Yeah. Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not a murder weapon, then pray tell what was. I don't know. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I don't think I can, actually. This is the as far van. as I... The v oh. I mean, uh, There's no dents in it, so probably not. So, I don't really have any evidence saying what it could be. It could be that, who knows. It could very well be the, the gap in the little pricky-do in the fence. Uh, but the photo is from five years ago. Is that, what the photo is from five years ago, but that doesn't mean that it couldn't have happened again. Who who, who knows, like, true. the fence could have been fixed mm -hmm. during that five-year gap, and that bend in the fence could have been when she killed Hammer. So, oh, yeah. yeah. I, well, again, I'm, I'm really just spitballing here, no idea if that's true or not, and right now I'm not actually sure if I want to risk it. So for now, I'm going to go with this and see where it goes. Okay. Of course I can't. <laughs> Of course. Did I of stutter? <laughs> did I stutter? Like you did? Can the antics right? Could you please? I have to agree, Mr. Wright. At least pretend that you think you might know. This is a court think. of law, dude. <laughs> Note to self, think before speaking. Tough crowd. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, so <laughs> oh, you, oh, okay. You have I have to, to tell it. Something. Okay. 
Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? Obviously, I could. <laughs> All I just, right, what? I just rewound. I just rewound time. Obviously. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. <laughs> like it didn't even happen. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Let's see this murder weapon. This is literally all I have. Oh, although, no, this isn't literally all I have because, like you said, the van could have been it too. <laughs> the, the, the funniest part about that is, I said it as a joke. <laughs> uh huh. Well, now I'm starting to think that it might not have been. So, those are, yeah, those are literally the only two things I have. It's a 50 50 shot. Either the pricky do in the front. The, the pricky do and the fence or the van. But honestly, no offense to you, but my gut is telling me that it was this. Not taken. Here we go. Okay, cool. Look at this photo. Graph. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing on top of the stairs. Order, order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. And extended to the final, final day. <laughs> Mr. Wright. What is all this about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. Well, accident should be in quotation point marks at this point, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. Until now. <laughs> mm -hmm. There was a close kept secret at the studios. <laughs> what does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth? You still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Mm. <laughs> that face. <laughs> that was just like a nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a thumbnail. Like I can see it now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mr. Wright. Continue. <laughs> it's 2.30 on the day of the dentist appointment and the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs, onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had done himself five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Maybe you can. <laughs> In other words, the, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die? Five years ago? Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? It's like Ray Yane on your wedding day. Ho oh, oh, ho, very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my scriptwriting staff. Oh. Uh, you deny that what I say is true? She, she's got something, doesn't she? Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of the argument, that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? You drove him in the van. There, there we go. I already freaking proved you wrong. And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Makes me think that it, that where is Sal during this whole thing? Is he like completely oblivious, or is he an, an accomplice? He's just not saying anything. Are you are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned it to the trailer all in the all in the space of a 15 minute break how could i have disposed of the body the conveniently placed incinerator true 
The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes, from 2.30 to 2.30. Excuse me for a second. I'm terribly sorry. The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes, from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the, off the stairs to his death? Then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Yeah, especially with the monkey head in the way, too. We, we, we gotta keep that in mind. Hmm. Indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? Hmm. She had another way, so... Huh. Man. This is getting complicated. Hmm. She couldn't deal with it... Hmm. Like, this one, I'm gonna assume is just out at this point, because, you know, petite stature and all that. So uh -huh. she, she couldn't couldn't deal with it, it's just like giving up, but she had another way, is probably the one that's, you know, gonna lead to some more stuff that I'm going to talk about right now. So I'm gonna do it. Let's go. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? Like the van. Like the van. For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. <laughs> poor, your poor ears, D. <laughs> and there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright? Please show us how she carried the body. This picture of a van. <laughs> she carried <laughs> just the picture itself. She <laughs> she carried it in this envelope. <laughs> <laughs> she chopped it up into little pieces. Take that, indeed, Miss Vesquez. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Well, I'll, I'm gonna let you finish, but first I would like everyone to know I'm a defense attorney. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best defense attorney of all time. Of all time. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my, g g how, my gosh, how old is Connie's interruption at this point? That had to have been, like, what, at least a decade ago, wasn't it? Jeez, I'm old. <laughs> it has to have been. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll look it up while, um, uh, while I'm editing this, and I'll put, ha put like, the even the exact date of it and how long it's been right here. There Dear you go. God, look uh -huh. at that date. Mm -hmm. I was this many years old when that happened. There you go. <laughs> and I was that many years old. <laughs> <laughs> you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the Studio Van to do it. <laughs> There's the face again. It's the best face ever. Recall your testimony. I was gonna say, if it's recall your testimony, could it be Phoenix doing an impression of Vasquez? Do you want it to be? <laughs> I, I mean, I think that would be funny, but also I could read it for the sake of continuity. <clears throat> Fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. And, and, and you know, I, I, I do all of these in, um, uh, like, uh, all these, um, flashbacks, uh, in fast forward, so it's gonna sound super funny. Okay. And so. <clears throat> there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was Zivan there, right? I had Sal drive me. A French accent? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it for shit, dude. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I, I, I can't I do it, it for funny. merde. <laughs> <laughs> now I just want someone to draw Phoenix in the, like, the same way that, uh, Ryan Stiles went up and, and was like, A French accent? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. I didn't slam my desk this time. Hold <laughs> on, right? Don't forget, it was Salmonella that drove the van. There he is. <laughs> Are you suggest? <laughs> sorry. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manila was a con- A conspirator? I've never seen that word. Yeah. But one who can who conspires, like I, I even said before, like where is Sal this whole time? I 
can't imagine that he wasn't an accomplice or that he wasn't like completely oblivious to what was going on so i'm gonna say that yeah he was it, it, especially with how like close he worked with miss vasquez e exactly the, the dude's simping for her hard so in wheat speak no less mm -hmm. of course salmonella has to have been a conspirator the body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume there's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. And said, all right, oh, you were right. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator, good call, dude. Yeah. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? I knew the music was going to fade out. Not the music fade. Mm -hmm. No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Thank you! Wait, what? Mm. I lose. You win. It was fun. She really is gonna come quietly, okay. Well, pr presumably. <laughs> She's gonna walk quietly? Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of something, but nothing's coming. <laughs> nothing's coming. <laughs> so we can hear. <laughs> I win? There's no way it's that easy, right? Right? I, I was thinking the same thing. Uh? Even the courtroom itself is silent. <laughs> right. Which is weird, considering she kind of just confessed. You would think there would be at least a little bit of rabble-rabble going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, uh, what happens next? <laughs> I don't think I'd get this far. Don't, uh, me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? I did it, I'm sorry, put me in cuffs, I don't fucking know. Uh huh? I want fromage. <laughs> <laughs> I lost something like that? Well, did she kind of said that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just said that. Oh. W w wait, so you mean... De Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer. Um, can, can, this can, is can, weird. Can, any, can anyone else say something? Who can say? Well then, what was all that I lost you one bullshit? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright. We just engaged in a battle of wits. We just oh. got engaged. <laughs> and the result of that battle? You proved the possibility... <laughs> you proved the possibility that I murdered Hannah. So that's what you meant by... I won. Got it. Right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. That is true. What? What? <laughs> what? And the courtroom is alive again. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> had, me, had me worried for a second. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! Your thoughts? Um, uh, mm. uh, uh, of course. It's as the witness says. Hmm. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but um, there's, uh, there's, there's no proof. Huh. Edgeworth isn't sure. That's a good sign. <laughs> well. I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Uh, what do I do now? Uh, Testify uh, again? <laughs> yeah, maybe... Uh, definitely not this one, because that's just <laughs> saying I, I give up, so... And, and, and as, we've, as we've figured out just a second ago, the courtroom does not have a sense of humor. It really doesn't, no. <laughs> yeah, if she testifies again, then... No, uh, her. Because hmm. I feel like okay, so in my mind, yeah, you did it, Vasquez. Would kind of just replay what we did of 
yeah, there's a possibility that I did, but there's no decisive proof. Mm -hmm. That is true, so... No further questions, as we said just a moment ago. Mm -hmm. And I'm so... going to testify again would make the judge be like, you must testify again with this newfound knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the one that's most likely to actually keep it moving forward, so let's do it. That, that, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I'd i like you to testify again. To testify again? Uh, no one to give up, Mr. Wright. No, it's my favorite Disney Pixar movie. You can't have it. Think about it. No, I will think about it. It's my favorite Stephen King movie. You can't have it. <laughs> Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions. Get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn. Kasso! <laughs> to come so far, only to fail. Then nah, you ain't failing, dude. Deus Ex Mia? <laughs> Deus Ex Mia. <laughs> nice one. As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Does that mean that Sam is coming back up? No. Edgeworth. Edgeworth objects to that? Where is this going? With, with the cornered music playing now, so th yeah. this, is, this is the final, like, this is the last hurrah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. <laughs> that was a great impression of me, Edgeworth. Good job. <laughs> I see. Very well. What was the point of that? What the fuck is happening? I have a question, Your Honor. <laughs> Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> y y y yes, Mr. Edge Edgeworth, you may. Ob 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 objection! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. Where is it? <laughs> I was like, Your Honor, may I go to the bathroom? I don't know, Mr. Edgeworth. Can you? Oh, fuck you. I got enough of that from my fourth grade <laughs> English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. Oh my god, what? Why, huh? You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your voice again. <clears throat> I just want to hear your <laughs> testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Hirana? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth? I just want to prove my namesake. <laughs> I, too, see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Mm. Well, yes. Um. Uh, I, I love seeing him all, all flustered. It's so satisfying. Indeed. V verily, I say. <laughs> uh, ergo. <laughs> so good. He's, having a, he's having a stroke. Yes, I won. I uh, want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body, it was incinerated very well. <laughs> the witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Okay, I, I, I guess we're, we're still going. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do it live. Nick? Why did Edgeworth... Who knows? You probably realize she did it too. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but... But, wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? That's true. Uh-huh. After all that... Edgeworth. Hmm. I am very intrigued. The witness testimony. Again? <laughs> witness testimony. Take a D. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> No.